In Dune, the spice has the power to either create or destroy an entire empire, being at the center of the main political and economic conflicts. It is the most important resource in the known universe, having countless benefits and uses, significantly contributing to the world building of the story. It also encourages us to go deeper into its significance, drawing parallels with the spice trade era of the Middle Ages, the Western influence in the Middle East, the human impact on the environment, and the mind-altering substances that gained popularity in the 20th century. This historical context adds depth to the significance of spice in Dune. Arrakis was not always a desert planet. It was a green environment with oceans, teeming with diverse life forms, both on land and in the water. We learn from God Emperor Leto that it was at this time that the ancestors of the sandworms were brought to the planet as sand trout. How that happened is a mystery, with some theories suggesting either the panspermia hypothesis through a comet or meteorite impact, or maybe they were intentionally moved to this planet by the ancient humans, the thinking machines, or even some unknown aliens. It is part of the sand trout life cycle to consume vast amounts of water, thereby extracting it from the natural water cycle. This process unfolds gradually over time and ultimately leads to the desertification of the planet. It is also thought that a possible comet impact around 50 million years before the Guild was potentially another factor that contributed to the, the evaporation of the oceans. Throughout millennia, Arrakis underwent a gradual transformation into a desert, paving the way for the sand trout to evolve into sandworms and become the most dominant life form on the planet. These formidable creatures can grow to 400 meters in length and have adapted very well to the scorching heat and dry climate, playing a crucial role in the creation of spice. The genesis of melange involves a unique fusion of fungal excretions from sand trout and water, resulting in a precursor substance known as pre-spice mass. The chemical reactions involved in this process generate gases, accumulating until they trigger a phenomenon referred to as a spice blow. Through this release of pressure, the mass erupts onto the desert surface, ultimately transforming into spice, amidst Arrakis' high temperatures and arid air. As the sandworms approach the end of their life and die, they release sand trout into the sands, perpetuating this cyclical process. After millions of years, Arrakis was colonized by the Zensuni wanderers, ancestors of the Fremen, and at first, the discovery of spice held minimal significance. Over time, though, this substance became an important part of the Fremen culture, being consumed by breathing it from the air as well as being used in food and drink, its flavor strongly resembling that of cinnamon. It has very strong effects on the human body, and it is one of the main factors for the strength and resilience of the Fremen people, with even the children becoming violent and dangerous at a very young age. The prolonged consumption of melange resulted in a phenomenon where human eyes underwent discoloration, resulting in a distinct blue tint covering the entire eye. It has the potential to awaken dormant parts of the human mind, prompting heightened sensory awareness and in some individuals, heavy doses may result in remarkable abilities, notably the prescience. Throughout our history, Humanity has valued spices for their multifaceted roles in food and drink, healing remedies, and spiritual ceremonies, leaving a significant impact on some traditions and cultures. It is not a coincidence that Frank Herbert chose to give the spice this flavor, as cinnamon was once one of the most valuable substances in the real-world spice trade, anchoring this fictional substance in our reality. During a trip to Arrakis, a year before the onset of the Butlerian Jihad, Tukki Dyer, a Tleilaxu trader, discovered the spice by chance. Realizing its remarkable properties, he joined efforts with Aurelius Vinport, and they created Vin Key Enterprises, which later evolved into the Spacing Guild. Together, they started to offer this substance to different factions within the League of Nobles, yielding remarkable success. 
The popularity of the spice increased over time, and around 90 years later when the Butlerian Jihad was over, it started to draw the attention of the entire empire. The melange can significantly boost longevity, enhancing the overall well-being of an individual and often increasing life expectancy by three times. Despite all those benefits, the spice is highly addictive, and as the consumption increases, so does the severity of an individual's dependency on it. Deadly withdrawals are common, consequently leading to a surge in demand, creating a substantial and hungry market. The Bene Gesserit Sisterhood also uses the spice essence in their ritual of becoming a reverend mother, the agony. The acolytes going through this trial must endure excruciating pain after ingesting the water of life, and those lacking the necessary strength perish in the process. Only Paul Atreides and his son, Leto II, are exceptions among males who have undergone this ritual and managed to survive. Through the consumption and exposure to massive amounts of spice, some have significantly transformed their entire bodies, thus leading to the creation of the Guild Navigators. They remain constantly submerged in vast reservoirs of concentrated orange spice gas, with the prolonged exposure resulting in the elongation of their heads and limbs. For thousands of years, the Spacing Guild was the only faction able to perform faster than light space travel, even though it was extremely expensive. The navigators would inhale the orange spice gas, giving a limited form of prescience, which allows them to see across the vast expanses of space. This would enable them to guide the huge starships, known as Highliners, to the right location. Spice can certainly be viewed as a compelling analogy to fossil fuel in the real world, with nations wanting to have as much of this limited resource as possible, as it is utilized extensively in almost all industries. This analogy gains particular resonance when considering Spice's crucial role in facilitating interstellar travel, mirroring the indispensable status of petroleum in modern transportation, such as automobiles and airplanes. During the era of the Carino Empire, the Spice Melange reigned supreme as the most valuable resource across the known universe. Legends had it that you could buy an entire planet for just a suitcase of melange. Great houses of the Imperium gained prominence based on their wealth and power, often measured by their ability to regularly indulge in melange consumption, or even better, to stockpile it. But this was risky, as the Emperor, the Bene Gesserit, and the Spacing Guild could perceive these reserves as a challenge to their authority in the Imperium. There were experiments attempted by the Empire to transport sandworms to other planets, hoping to replicate the ecology of Dune, but those sandworms would shortly die no matter how similar the ecosystem was, thus they remained extremely reliant on planet Arrakis for the much-needed spice. More than 10,000 years after the Spacing Guild was created, upon the arrival of House Atreides on Arrakis, it was evident that the spice had the power to dismantle an entire empire. Dune, once a remote, impoverished, and inconsequential desert planet, transformed into a highly desired domain. Overseeing the harvesting of spice became a prestigious yet challenging responsibility, with the Imperial agents facing obstacles from the territorial sandworms, as well as the Fremen, who harbored resentment towards offworlders. The mining process involves using specialized gigantic machines, called harvesters, to extract the spice from the surface until a sandworm appears, prompting a transport aircraft, named Carryall, to relocate the mining equipment to a secure location. Meanwhile, the Fremen have adapted to living side by side with the sandworms, gathering the valuable substance manually, and utilizing it for their own needs and clandestine export to other planets. The spice played an important role in the ascension of Paul Atreides as the emperor and the messiah of the Fremen. Not only the heavy doses of melange gave him enhanced prescience ability, proving that he is the prophesized Kwisatz Haderach after going through the agony, but he also used the spice as a bargaining chip, 
threatening to destroy it if any of the houses or the spacing guild dared to cross him. Essentially, his power over the most valuable resource allowed him to become the most powerful man in the known universe in a political, economic, and religious sense. The price is the addiction, and Paul discovers that it is like poison, but it won't kill you unless you stop taking it. As a mind-altering substance, spice mirrors the psychoactive compounds embraced by diverse societies throughout history. Gaining prominence during the cultural shifts of the 1960s in the United States, when Frank Herbert wrote the novel. During that time, there was a prevailing belief that recreational drugs could enhance cognitive functions, being a strong analogy for the prescience ability. Just like spice, these substances tend to induce addiction, often leading users to escalate their consumption to maintain the same effects. Thousands of years later, after the death of God Emperor Leto, the spice's value started to drop as it became something to be created on demand. The Tleilaxu, through the old Project Amal, finally managed to engineer the axolotl tanks to artificially create melange, Arrakis no longer being the only source. After their return from the scattering, the honored mattress managed to destroy Dune and this entire faction. Saitale being the only one who managed to survive. Ultimately, the Bene Gesserit were the most important remaining consumers of spice, putting efforts into transforming Planet Chapter House into a new dune with the help of the last surviving Sandworm and Shiana, while also seeking knowledge from Saitale on how to create Melange using the Axlotl tanks. As we trace the journey of Spice from its discovery on the desert planet of Arrakis to its central position in interstellar politics and culture, we recognize its profound impact on the lives of the characters and the fate of entire civilizations within the Dune universe. Spice serves as a lens through which we examine broader themes such as addiction and the quest for transcendence but also it raises questions about environmental sustainability and the ethics of resource harvesting. It highlights the destructive consequences of unchecked greed and the urgent need for responsible stewardship of natural resources.